Son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more. He made another hit. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get 30% off this shirt right here. Uh, Four-time indictment champ, Donald Trump. Hey, it's funny because he's going to overcome these charges, and we're going to ram it down their throats. So go on and put Trump 4X and get 30% off the entire store. Trump 4X, get 30% off this shirt. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man, Oliver Anthony, has done it again. I haven't listened to this song yet. But I heard it is going viral, and people are saying it was better than the first song he made. Uh, what, what was it called? Richmond, North of Richmond. Um, so I want to play this video. I want to watch it with you guys. This is my first time seeing it. So with the, with the spirit of what I've seen from this guy, him being a humble servant, him saying I don't need an $8 million contract, even though he's probably make, he probably going to make millions with his stuff being at the top of the charts. <laughs> but he's saying I don't want to be uh, controlled by people. I want this to be genuine, this to be consistent. I'm just an everyday man touching the everyday person. And uh, with that, I bet this song is pretty good. Wrote a clip. Well, if it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Cause every day living in this new world, one, two, many days to me. Son, we're on the brink of the next world war And I don't think nobody's praying no more And I ain't saying I know it for sure I'm just down on my knees Begging the Lord and take me home I want to go home I don't know which road to go been so long I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way cussing myself every damn day there's always some kind of bill to pay people just doing what the rich man say I want to go home so so far so good uh, I, you know, I don't want to get copyrighted, so I just want to make a quick comment. So far, so good. It didn't come off as harsh as the first one, Richmond, North of Richmond, but I think it has a powerful message to it. Let's keep watching. Now, four generations farming the ground. Grandson sells to a man out of town And two weeks later, trees go down Only got concrete growing around And I wanna go home I wanna go home Still's good, man. I don't know which road to go It's been so long I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way Cussing myself every damn day People have really gone and lost their way They all just do what the TV say <laughs> I wanna go home This music is good, man It's like, it like, it like hits you right here that's good music from the heart. If it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Ah. Uh. Love it, love it, love it. You know one thing I really like, and, and I think that it, he's doing this acoustic, right? I, imagine if they put music to it beat to it put a band to it this this kid's music would be out of control because you could feel the passion you could tell he's doing it from the heart and a lot of people can relate to it even me man some of the stuff he was saying there man i remember i remember when it was me 
Phineas and the good Lord. That's honestly God truth. When I was a cop, my son is living somewhere else. I was by myself, single, no family. And I'm seeing people get killed every day and, and, and the worst of the worst being a cop. And I come home and I had nothing but the good Lord and my Phineas. That used to be, they used to be all I had. Outside of that, I think I would have gone crazy. So I can even relate to this song. If this dude had a beat behind that song and he toured the, toured the world, he would make an incredible impact. This guy has become, a, well, I think, a household sensation and a household name. I cannot wait to see what his future holds. I hope he stays pure, stay true to the message, and keep making songs from his heart. Appreciate you, brother. If you ever get some free time, I'd love to interview you. I'll see y'all the next one. I'm out.